this is my room for now. It's a two bedroom, but it's only for like two days and then I will move to a private room. I can have visitors but not in my room, only outside and I can put a mask and go out to see them and like if they want to deliver food or anything, not that I really know anyone here besides one person. <laughs> um, so yeah, in this room, there's my bed, the fridge, the window, my cupboard, and the, where is it, bathroom, there. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so they're gonna come do a. I, I met my nurse's money. I didn't meet money, she doesn't speak English, but I met Betty and she speaks English. Really nice, beautiful eyelashes. Oh my gosh. Um, so they will come and it will take my vitals, they will scan my heart, check everything's okay, take some bloods maybe, but they're not sure about that because they're waiting to hear from the doctor. And then um, I will start steroid treatment and I think the doctor said on Thursday I will get to start my chemotherapy. So the steroid treatment is basically like the preparation for the chemotherapy. But it could be two days, it could be a week. My other doctor, Dr. Anna, said she will come back and she will tell me. And then tomorrow they will do a lumbar puncture. So they will draw some spinal fluid. But apparently it's not as bad as the biopsy or the aspiration in the hip. And that one was not nearly as intense as the one in the chest. So I think it's going to be a breeze. Oh yeah, and I can take as much water as I want outside and there is also a microwave for me because although I don't really like microwave food, but Hong Se Hong Sao. Okay, so my doctor came to update me and they will do the lumbar puncture to check if there's cancer in the spinal fluid because then in that case I will need a stem cell transplant. But at the moment I'm an intermediary case so hopefully I won't. But they felt here on my head and at the back there's lymph nodes. So they said that they will go away with the treatment. So let's really hope they're going to do it early in the morning, the lumbar puncture, and then hopefully by the evening we'll know. So let's really hope that there's no cancer in, in my spinal fluid. Good morning. Hello. Hi. Okay. So I'm going to do my lumbar puncture later on, not in the morning, because they will do the heart scan first to check that the, heart, the lumbar doesn't affect the heart. So, yep. Breakfast was <laughs> two rolls, butter, and a boiled egg. So I'm eating rice pudding for breakfast. You know when you sit bugger it, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> anyway, I slept really well. There's no one in my room with me and you know, I'll be going to my private room. They want me in a private room, but there's none available. So technically I'm in a private room, but it's still a two bed one, yeah. And they came this morning at 5 a.m. They woke me up to take blood, and I was like, whoa, oh, hello. And then, take your blood, and I was like, whoa, oh, okay. And then I've been awake since then. And some nurses came earlier, and they took some vitals and stuff. They were all super nice, and then I also saw my doctor. Yeah. Time for a good day! Okay, I just had the lumbar puncture. Uh, it didn't really feel like anything, actually. And they tested my heart this morning, and I'm good to go for chemo. Um, anyway, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a bit of a nap. This is day one for pre-chemo, day one for treatment, or day zero. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a bit pale. I've been feeling a bit nauseous and I've had temperature the whole night. So, they've given me, like, So here is my first dose of pre-chemo. I have to take all of these now and this will happen three times a day. And then we will start with the chemo. I currently got a nausea injection on top of it, so. 
Okay, let's try to take this. Um, all of these tablets. My head feels very squonk, but so let's try to do this quickly so I can lie down again.